talk about, you know, the different platforms and, and you know, and the income that comes from each one, um, you know, at, at, at this point in time, it's very easy for social media to really make millionaires. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, you got, you got Instagram is cashing the fuck out right now. They got badges where motherfuckers could send you, you know what I'm saying, look, donations and shit. And then they paying for reels. And reels is actually, you know what I'm saying, they, they, they cashing out on that shit. Facebook just started reels too, where you can make the reels. And then, um, you know, they started where you can monetize the videos on Facebook. At one point, they had to be at least three minutes long, you know what I'm saying, in order for you to be eligible for monetization. But now they paying, if, even if they less than three minutes long, and, you know, they had something, like, Instagram had badges. They got something called Stars. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um, the Stars, they released, it was during the pandemic. And I remember, um, like, really figuring out how to work that shit. Like, Stars is where motherfuckers could buy stars and send them to you. And you get a penny for every star. But, see, then I had came up with something called the Black Powerball. And and I came up with the Black Powerball as a result of people's love for gambling and love for the lottery. You know what I'm saying? So I came up with some shit like, I, if y'all get my page to a million stars by the end of the month, then five people will get cashed out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whoever sent the most stars for the month, they'll get a thousand. And the other four is going to get $500 each. Those four people, I'm going to pull their name out of a bucket on live. You know what I'm saying? There was a month. I got my shit to three million stars. Fucking them up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I, like, I'm obsessed with just, like, progress and just figuring shit out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Any other motherfucker would have saw that. Like, they only giving niggas a penny. Watch out. I'm like, well, let me figure out how to, you know what I'm saying, make this shit make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that shit was busting. And anybody that's watching this motherfucker interview, if you know, you know. I'm on that motherfucker like quarantine radio. You hear me? Motherfuckers on that bitch. They, I'm like, oh, what's I'm gonna call it that came through? He didn't send 250 stars. Like, oh, then you know whoever sent the most stars, I'm pinning them at the top of the comments. So motherfuckers going back and forth. Ooh, I'm, I am one day, motherfuckers, motherfuckers, I think I was at 200,000 stars on one motherfucking, I, I was already at 200,000 stars for the month. Motherfuckers was getting so busy on that particular live, boy. Motherfucker got to a million stars on that live. It was some heavy steppers. I like, look, motherfuckers heavy stepping. Oh, y'all letting the women show out because the females was stepping. Like, you feel me? Like, and then the niggas were coming like, man, you, woo, woo. and it's crazy. Like, because that attention. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, if I'm penny, we're in the midst of a fucking pandemic. So, you know, motherfuckers going crazy. I'm like, well, clearly they're not affected by COVID. Like, you know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. Like, so now I got full name pinned to the top of the comments. Now all the bitches is like, oh, that's where the money reside, huh? You know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. Like, so I just, I made that shit, like, fun. I made that shit raw as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you got that shit. And then, you know what I'm saying, you got YouTube, of course, where you can, you know what I'm saying, you can make your money woo out the bam. And, you know, with YouTube, you just have to really be aware of, you know, making sure that you max maximize your watch time and your, you know what I'm saying, and how long the video is, having effective thumbnails, you know what I'm saying, and establishing peak days and peak times. Like, you know what I'm saying, my peak time. Um, is preferably between um, 6 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. I don't usually drop after 8. It, and, and, you know, sitting down editing these videos, sometimes I'm sitting there for like 12 hours straight. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm talking about tab, my fucking leg falling asleep and some more shit. And I be having demand for when these videos come out sometimes. So it's just like I had a video finish after. So first... As far as editing the videos, like the Black Chicago be like narrated stories. First, I'll take all the footage, upload it, and then I chop everything up into, you know, in order of how the story goes in my head. You know what I'm saying? Then I'll add like text message effects and, you know what I'm saying, different, you know, shit like that. Then I'll narrate it. Then I'll go back and color it. 
then I'll start putting like the, you know, the watermark shit, you know what I'm saying? So on and so forth. Then put the music that go behind, you know what I'm saying? The shit, like it's a process to get that shit. And sometimes, every, and then even after you finish, you got to upload that shit. You got to wait for it to upload because I got the fastest internet you can have because when you, when you upload that shit, boy, that shit could take forever if your shit, if your motherfucking speed is mediocre, you feel me? And then, you know, then you have to be aware of, you know, what will green bean your shit and what a, a corn on the cob your shit. That's green dollar sign, a yellow dollar sign, which means the yellow is that, you know, your monetization is being reduced as a result of having something in the video that goes against, you know what I'm saying, community guidelines for YouTube. So, you know, you post that shit and if it don't automatically go green, then you got to request a review. You know what I'm saying? And wait for that shit be, to be approved. And sometimes, you know, it could be after eight. Now I got anxiety because it's like, should I drop or shouldn't I? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, every time I drop a Chicago video until this very day, and this is some 2016 to 2021 crossing over to 2022, right before I'm finna drop that video, I am having a fucking heart attack. Every single time. My anxiety is incredibly off the chain. My kids know, do not talk to me. Don't call me. Don't do nothing. Daddy is trying to make sure you get a new fucking pair of shoes. Watch the fuck out. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's a certain amount of views that have to be accomplished within 15 minutes. If I don't get that shit, I'm balled up. But see, even now, like, I have some shit that start off slow. I, I would prefer for the video to be at like 60 or 70,000 views in the first hour if I drop it on YouTube. I have a video that I had like 20,000 views in the first hour. I'm sick. You know what I'm saying? But then um, you get the, that's when you get the crossing over to like the longer the video, the more, the longer it's going to take for the views to catch up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers sitting up for longer. When the videos were shorter, then I was getting like between 60 and 80,000 views. I didn't even see 100,000 views in an hour if that motherfucker was busting. Like, you know what I'm saying? So now I can't really gauge how that shit really did for like at least a day and a half when it's long as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's just a lot of different sciences and practices that go into, you know what I'm saying, um, producing and uploading content on different platforms. So another thing that I learned, and it took me years to figure out, that also increases the earning potential of the content that you upload on YouTube, right? So when you have ads on the video, you can manually place those ads. What I was coming to find as I be putting ads, we wop the band, and the money just was what it was until I found out when you putting ads on them videos, you have to make sure that each ad is two and a half minutes apart from the other ad. Because if it's not, you can put 10 ads, because one day I put about 12 ads on the video. Then I go back and just look, and that bitch had two or three. And I'm just like, what the fuck? That's because if you don't follow that time period in between ads, YouTube is going to put shit where they want to put shit. So you have to make sure that when you're doing them ads, that that sauce for that is every two and a half minutes in order for YouTube to allow those ads to stay. That little piece of information like really contributed to the difference of how much money I was making at one point and how much money I was making at another. So... This shit is just a learning process. Every day you learn something new. You just got to stay hungry for that knowledge.